This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Skillshare. In this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create a pencil scribble logo animation inside of After Effects without using any plugin. It's gonna be a super fun tutorial, very easy to create and we will cover a lot of different techniques throughout the complete video so make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of this video and if you enjoy it then you can always subscribe to the channel or hit that like in order to support the channel. So with that said, I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition which is going to be full HD that is 1920 by 1080. Let's call this render as our main render comp. 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. The background color I have set it to white. You can set it to whichever color that you like. Hit OK. And here I have a few assets that I will be using for this uh, tutorial. You can download the free project file from the link in the description below. So let's start off by adding our background so i'm going to select my uh, paper texture here that i have drag and drop it into my render comp hit s and scale this down to around 45 person so it's a nice uh, background paper texture something like that so this is going to be a nice background for our sketch reveal then let's create a new composition which is going to be our logo placeholder where we can drag in and drop any logo that we want so i'm gonna call this logo let's drag a logo that i have here i'm gonna scale this down a bit just like so let's go back into our render comp drag and drop in the logo composition just like so so now what i'm gonna do is first of all animate a logo draw that nice pencil revealing effect and to create that we will be using an effect called vegas so you can go into effects and preset type in vegas drag and drop it or simply double click and there we go now let's go into the image contours and the first thing that I need to change is the channel. So I'm going to set this from intensity to alpha and then set the blend mode from over to transparent. So we have this something like this. Uh, it's hard to see. So let's change the color to something like a nice gray color so you can see what we are going for. Now let's bring down the segments to around two or three. I think two looks good and you can see we get a really interesting look. And basically we can animate the length, you know, just like that to get a really nice reveal. But before that, let's um, fix a few things. First of all, let's set the end opacity to one. So we have this very nice, robust look that I am going for. For the midpoint opacity, I'm going to also set this to one. And yeah, everything else looks good. Now we can go ahead and animate the length just like so. So at the very start, I'm going to set the length to zero, create a keyframe, go to around four seconds and let's set this to one. So basically we have this nice revealing animation. Now, if you don't like the way it reveals, I can simply change the rotation just like so. So it's going to reveal from a different basically position and I can also increase the number of um, segments so right now it's revealing from two segments if i increase this to five you can see we get a different look pretty awesome right but i think two works fine so i'm gonna leave that at two maybe i'll bring down the width size to one because i think two is a bit too much so let's go with from like 1.5 okay so this is looking pretty nice i'm pretty happy um, with the reveal but right now you can see the pencil effect is pretty robust and it's it's way too smooth so in order to make that grungy feel to this pencil effect i can go into effects and preset type in a turbulence displace and double click to apply that up let's set the displacement to let's go with something like bulge set the amount to 30 and bring down the size to 2 so it's a very subtle effect but as you can see now it looks like the pencil has been scribbled and embedded on that particular paper and that is the look that i'm going for so if i now preview this you can see we get a really nice look now what i'm going to do 
is go back into my assets folder and here I have a pencil a revealing animation that I created and basically just rendered an MOV so I we don't need to go over that process it's, it's a pretty simple process by the way anyway so let's um drag and drop in the pencil reveal MO, MOV footage I can scale that down so something like this maybe 30 or 40 percent is fine and then duplicate the logo hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll move the pencil revealing effect or the video to around two seconds and let's place this below the logo and change the blending mode of this to if i hit f4 and change the track matter option of this sorry to alpha matte and then let's go into the logo composition basically select the logo composition layer and turn off the vegas or delete the vegas and the turbulent displays and now we have this really nice reveal which looks pretty nice i think now obviously i need to bring down the opacity of this pencil scribble so i can set it to around maybe 40 percent 40 percent is way too much 50 percent so we have this uh, pencil drawing effect and then we have the scribble looks pretty nice now let's actually select everything hit u so we can see the keyframes select the keyframes hit f9 to easy ease them go into the graph editor and make sure you right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag the handle to the left holding shift so we have a really nice animation as you can see looks um pretty good now let's go into the assets folder again and use this ink footage that i have so i'm gonna drag and drop it right over here let's duplicate the logo so hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's turn this on and i'm gonna move the ink footage to around um, four seconds i think all right and then go into effects and preset and type in invert in order to invert the color of the ink footage so now it's it has a black background and the ink animation is in white now let's change the logo track mat to a luma mat i believe and we have this very nice look of ink reveal now i need to change the position of this i'm going to select this and basically just move it and eyeball the center looks um pretty nice i can bring down the opacity of the logo so i'm gonna hit t and let's bring that down to around something like 40 percent then i'm gonna select these two layers hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's uh, displace this a bit that is move this forward in time and then I'm going to select the logo layer, hit T and bring up the opacity by 60%. So we have two ink blobs, first one and the second one. Then let's go to six seconds, create a keyframe on the opacity, go to 7.15 frames, 7 seconds and 15 frames and set this to 100. Select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. So we have this very nice reveal and our logo is getting revealing this reveal animation through that ink footage pretty nice before i proceed further with this tutorial let's take a look at today's sponsor skillshare skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration design photography video freelancing and more Skillshare offers class designed for real life, so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation course for motion design on Skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description below will get access to two free months of premium membership to Skillshare. So basically our uh, animation is ready. Now let's add a really nice camera movement in order to give it a bit more depth and some dramatic camera animation to our scene. So to do that, I'm gonna first of all, right click, create a new camera, set the preset to 35 millimeters, hit okay. I'm gonna hit okay. Select all the layers and turn them into 3D layers. Right click and create a new null object, which is going to be our camera controller. I'm going to call this cam control. And um, 
let's sell select uh, let's align this actually into the center and in order to move the anchor point into the center i'm gonna hold control and double click on the pan behind tool um we can hide the null object we don't need to see this and then what i'm going to do is turn the null object through to a 3d layer and then parent the camera to this null object if you don't see this parent and link option you can click on the small uh, area go into columns and add the parent and link option so at the very start i'm gonna select the cam control layer hit r to bring down the rotation properties create a keyframe on x y and z let's rotate the x rotation by 38 y rotation by 44 and um, z rotation by 90 then go to maybe something like seven seconds and set them all back to zero so basically we have a really nice animation but there are a lot of a lot of uh, things that are going on first of all let's fix the background because right now you can see it, it's getting cropped here so in order to expand the background i'm going to select it go into effects and preset and use an effect called cc reptile double click and let's expand this from the right side just like so and then we have a cut right over here in order to blend the edges i can just simply blend the borders just like that so we have a pretty seamless look as you can see but it's still there so i'm gonna maybe expand this a lot more and also gonna expand this from the top so we have this very nice look as you can see now let's also add some zoom to this so i'm going to go into camera camera options and animate the zoom so i'm going to create a keyframe drag that keyframe to 10 seconds and let's zoom in quite a lot so we have this nice uh, zoom out animation along with the rotation so maybe let's zoom in a bit more looks um pretty good i think now let's select the camera layer and the cam control hit U so we can see all the keyframes. Let's select all these um, keyframes. Hit F F9 to ease, ease them. Go into the graph editor and the same exact thing. I'm going to select all the points and drag the handles to the left. So let's see what we get. There we go. There we have a very nice revealing through the scribble and the ink pretty awesome and the best part about this effect or this reveal is that you can anytime change going to the logo composition change this to a different logo and it's gonna look absolutely amazing now one more thing before we end this video is you can add some noise in order to give a bit more organic look to this so let's create a new adjustment layer call this noise going to effects and uh, preset going to effects and preset add noise um, let's double click turn off use color and let's add the amount of noise to three person and we can also add some vignette to this so let's create one more adjustment layer let's call this cc go into effects and preset add curves double click to apply that up let's make this a bit darker and then select the ellipse tool and create a circle just like this let's invert this and hit f and feather this out so we have a very nice vignette as you can see and it looks pretty awesome if i preview this you can see we have a very nice grungy look and it looks pretty nice you can always adjust the opacity of this in order to you know play around with the intensity of the vignette and boom there we have our pencil scribble logo animation instead of after effects without using any plugins so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and check out my vidi hive profile mean machine and MoGraph motions the link to everything is in the description below so i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out